Hey everybody, uh, today I wanted to show you a little something that I picked up the other day and uh, I feel like it's a great item for what it was worth and uh, how much I paid for it so uh, here it is right here, here's the packaging, it's already out of the package and I'll show you here in a second but it's the uh, the Bear Grylls Gerber Series Survival Saw, it's the sliding saw, compact, um, <clears throat> it's a pretty nice saw, it comes with a survival guide which if you've been following my channel, you know me. I'm not a big uh, person into the survival stuff, like in the bushcraft and survival and the rest of that stuff. That's you know a big fad going on right now. And you know the reason why I say that is it's awful funny that you know all this stuff's been coming out and everybody's been catching on and everybody's doing their own thing with paracord and all that stuff. And you know if that's what you're into, that's what you're into. But you know I'm not really into it. My uh, my dad started you know braiding paracord in his last you know years but you know that was his hobby and uh like i said if that's what you're into hey go for it but um i didn't buy this saw for the survival purpose so i just want to get that out there and uh i'm gonna go ahead and show you the saw here now this is a uh gerber like i said bear grills series slideable saw it's got its own little locking uh system here it's got a knob on an allen screw that's in the the saw itself and you unloosen it and you slide it forward and as you can see there's an indent and that's where this knob sets in and you tighten it down now this saw is awesome for what it is I mean it's a little uh, I think it's a six inch blade and it's uh, it's made out of chrome vanadium or um, I'm not sure exactly it's a I know it's a chrome steel because when I bought it if you can see in the when, when I was bought in the package it had just a thin layer of oil on it and uh, that's what keeps it from rusting so this is basically a uh, just a compact hand saw really um, the real big deal about this saw is that you know Gerber isn't a big saw company they don't make saws this is made by the Fiskers company which is the sister to the to the Gerber company and the reason why you know I know that's just because it says right here on the back of the package you know made for and made by Fiskers designed and engineered in Oregon by for Gerber gear but made by made by Fiskers in China and um, so it's a it's a sharp saw though it's got like a triple tooth uh, setup on it and on this saw I found out that the best way to cut something down now this saw is awesome I've tested it out in the woods a couple times and I'll I'll include a few pictures of what I cut with this saw, but it's a it's a hefty saw. It's a nice little saw, little tabletop review here. Hope you guys like it. But like I said, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and include photos of what I've cut down already with it and uh, show you it works. Now you see these holes right here on the handle itself. You can actually tie it to a, a pole and make a pole saw out of it. Um, you know, for survival purposes. But in my case, the reason, the number one reason why I bought this was for clearing limbs on a tree so I can get my climbing deer stand up on the tree there because you got to have a straight tree and not only that there has to be no you know twigs or branches sticking out so that's the reason why I brought, uh, bought this saw and uh, the reason you know another thing was it was I was in the um, I was in stores you know looking for a type of saw that I could use something like this I mean I didn't really go say hey I'm gonna go to the store and buy this one but um, I was throwing, strolling through Menards uh, last Tuesday, and that's when I picked it up. So, and uh, you know, another reason was the price point on this thing. Um, you know, they they usually, I guess, go around for twenty dollars or something like that. And like I said, I picked it up at Menards, and it was on. Uh, I don't know if it was discontinued or clearance or what, but it said it was on sale for four dollars. So I can't, you know, I couldn't pass that up. That was, uh, to me, that was a, something that was basically a gimme deal. $4 and you get this pretty nice little saw. And I mean, like I said, it works wonders. And the best way to use this is to pull it back as you're cutting. Going forth is okay, but you're going to exert more force going forth than you are going back. So every time you want to cut, put the saw right here or put the branch or whatever you're cutting right there at the very edge of the saw blade towards the back. And then draw, draw it rear, uh, rearward. That's going to cut most for you. That way you don't exert most force trying to cut it both ways, you know, up and down or side to side. 
but yeah i mean i, I like this saw like i said i've tested it i took it out the other day when i went deer hunting and cleared a few branches with i actually cut down a whole tree believe it or not just to see how sharp this thing really was and like i said i'll include those pictures and i'm not saying this thing is going to cut down a huge tree by any means but i cut down a it was a like three and a half four inch tree i believe and like 35 40 seconds i mean i really didn't time it but it was so fast i just kept hacking at the tree with this thing and it was falling over in no time it didn't take me a second or two like i said so yeah uh, i haven't cleaned it up yet it's got a little bit of uh tree sapping in there and all kinds of stuff but you know this thing's a real deal and for four dollars like i said i couldn't pass this up so i'm gonna go ahead and include those pictures like i've been telling you guys and i hope you uh if you ever get the chance to see this saw on sale like i said i didn't pay full price for this i got it on sale for like four dollars if you can that's the one to buy right there for four dollars i would never pay 20 or 30 dollars i think that's what the retail was on this thing there ain't no way but like i said four dollars <laughs> i'm taking it home so hope you guys like it and uh you know like i said also in the beginning of the video i'm not big on survival stuff but i couldn't pass this up because i've been looking for a little hand saw kind of handy for cutting branches anyway and this one caught my eye so here we are but anyway guys i hope uh, you like the video and i hope you like my saw here uh, if you if you get the chance and you see one on sale go pick it up like i said you won't regret it but also um, i'm gonna go ahead and uh show the pictures to you and uh We'll see you on the next video, everybody. As always, we appreciate you watching our channel.